so we can just uh, give ourselves a moment to settle ourselves into this place, to the space in which you're finding yourselves in this moment. Connecting with your breath. Feeling for its gentle rhythms. It moves within you, supporting you to settle more deeply into a felt experience of this present moment. And we're using it as an anchor to gently guide and hold your mind within the presence of this space. within this moment, within your bodies. Feeling for the ground beneath you, supporting you and holding you. As we prepare to engage with the practice of Aruka Vajrasattva and Alpha Sob, practice that we do not just to develop the inequalities within our own minds for our own benefit but which we do in order to be able to have more skillful means compassion wisdom kindness and love with which to be able to benefit as many sentient beings as we're able to And with this in mind, we can start to build the visualisation where we place our father on our right side and our mother on our left. And beings who you have difficulties with, who you find challenging, place them in front of you. And those who you consider to be friends, who you have a sense of closeness to, a sense of attachment to, are seated behind you. Spend a moment just gaining a sense of gathering these people, these beings around you. So that they too might benefit from the practice that we're about to engage in by your holding them close within your mind, within your hearts in this present moment. And as you establish these beings around you, extend that visualisation to include all sentient beings as vast as space, all in human form. Surrounding us as we move through this practice. Spending a moment now just to focus on visualizing the objects of refuge in front of us, in the form of Aruka Vajrasattva, one with your guru. Just keeping a simple visualisation, a lotus and moon cushion upon which is seated your white radiant body of Aruka Vajrasattva. Adorned with all the marks and signs. Holding a bell and vajra and embracing his consort, who is also pure white in colour. And she holds a cleaver and skullcap. And the 
the father is seated in the outer posture and the mother in the lotus. Generating a strong sense of faith that this uh, deity, one with your guru, inseparable, is abiding in front of you. Bestowing blessings upon your consciousness, purification. Simply because this is what they do. Out of a spontaneous, uninterrupted flow of compassionate wisdom for all sentient beings. These enlightened minds take these forms, the blessings of the Guru, the presence of the Guru, in order for us to be able to develop the qualities that we see in them, which inspire us and move our minds and hearts. that we might too be able to benefit others in the way that they benefit us. So with these thoughts in mind, the presence of Guru Vajrasattva manifesting in front, those beings who are gathered around us, generate refuge in bodhicitta. Sange chud and sange chanam la chan chu pa du dag ni kyap su chi da ki jin so ki pe so nang ki dro la pen chi sange dru pa sho. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. So generating the power of regret, just spending a moment just to reflect on what regret means. a very skillful means with which to openly and honestly acknowledge within ourselves behavioural patterns and thought processes that we can see are not beneficial. And that they're not beneficial because they bring about harmful suffering result, consequence either for ourselves and or for others. Perhaps focusing for a moment on particular actions of body or speech or mind. you recognise as being habituated patterns that really only bring you problems, difficulties, challenges. And because of that, they affect others too. We're focusing here on the action, not on the being that performed the action. I invite you to spend a moment to choose one, 
one pattern of behaviour, one thought process that you know inside of your heart is not helpful. And generate a sense of sincere, heartfelt regret. wishes to change this behavioural pattern and thought process into something more inspired, more useful. reflect just for a moment on how important it is to take advantage of this opportunity to generate this heartfelt sense of regret by remembering the fact that we will one day die the life that we experience is impermanent This precious opportunity that we have to purify may not come again because we do not know when we're going to die. And we do not know if we will have an opportunity to sit in the present moment in which we find ourselves and engage in this kind of practice. without purifying, acknowledging within ourselves that we have behavioural patterns and thought processes that are unhelpful and wholesome. That we create the causes for challenging future rebirths. So to help us with this practice of purification, we come to rely on Guru Vajrasattva. Remembering that we're not just doing this practice of purification for ourselves. That the long term ultimate purpose of our lives is to be able to liberate all beings in all realms from the sufferings and the causes that they too are experiencing which are no different to ours they too might experience an everlasting peace and happiness in order for us to be able to do this, we ourselves must first reach a state of everlasting peace and happiness, where we too, our consciousnesses spontaneously, uninterruptedly flow out of great compassion and wisdom to all beings. And by purifying our negative karmas, these are unwholesome unhelpful behavioural patterns and thought processes. We're gifting ourselves the opportunity to be able to do this. So if you have the empowerment to visualise Vajrasattva, father and mother of your crown, Otherwise, you visualize just a solitary aspect of Vajrasattva without a wisdom mother. Of 
of the crown of your head and seated upon a lotus and moon are Vajrasattva, father and mother. God is white, one face and two arms. Vajrasattva holds a Vajran bell, the wisdom mother a curved knife and skull cup. Embracing each other, Vajrasattva is endured with six mudras, the wisdom mother with five. He sits in the Vajra posture and she in the lotus. One with your root guru, holy mind of the Buddhas, the Dharmakaya. Feeling for the presence of Guru Vajrasattva on the crown of your head. Blessings starting to connect to your own consciousness. Out of unbearable compassion, encompassing me and all sentient beings, the root guru appears in this form to purify you and all sentient beings. In the centre of the moon disk at Vajrasattva's heart stands a horn encircled by a garland of the hundred silver mantra. A powerful stream of white nectar flows from the horn and mantra garland entering the crown of your head and filling the entirety of your body. Feeling for these light rays of purification now descending down through your central channel. As it moves through the five main energy centres of the subtle body, the crown, throat, heart, navel and secret place. These purifying rays of light move out through the 72,000 channels of the subtle body. Purifying karmic obscurations. Sicknesses, spirit harms that have affected and ride upon the energies of the subtle body. Filling your body with these pure light rays of purification. And as we recite the mantra, developing the visualization a little bit further, that these negativities, karmic obscurations, behavioral pattern or thought process that you focused on with a sense of regret, moves from your body in the form of thick black smoke. Galactar, iron pigs, black scorpions, through the lower part of your body if you are focusing on a body action, the upper part of your body if you are focusing on a speech action, and spontaneously to your heart if you are focusing on a mind action. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Pathita Dido Me Bhava Sutushaya Me Bhava Supushaya Me Bhava Nanuratu Me Bhava Sawa Siddhi Me Trayatsa Sawa Kama Sutat Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tathagata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sapa Aum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Pathita Dido Me Bhava Sutushayo Me Bhava Supushayo Me Bhava Nanorato Me Bhava Sawa Siddhi Me Trayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsat Me Siddham Shriyam Guru Hung Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Jatha Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabhava Samaya Sapa Aum Pei 
Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Pafita Dito Me Bhava Suto Shayo Me Bhava Supo Shayo Me Bhava Nano Ratu Me Bhava Sawa Siddhi Me Trayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsatme Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tatha Gata Vajra Mamim Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sapa Aum Pei Om Vajrasapa Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Deno Pathita Dido Me Bhava Suto Shayo Me Bhava Supo Shayo Me Bhava Nano Rata Me Bhava Sawa Siddhi Me Trayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sawa Jata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sapa Aum Pe Now thinking to yourself that through ignorance and delusion broken and degenerated my commitments. Guru, please be my saviour and refuge. Lord, hold of the Vajra, endowed with great compassion, in you, the foremost of beings, I take refuge. And then in the presence of Haruka Vajrasattva, focusing on the power of restraint, Thinking about the behavioural pattern or thought process that you focused on in your regret, how long you feel realistically and honestly able to restrain from this. And saying in front of Guru Vajrasattva, I vow never again to commit this negative action or these negative actions from which I can easily abstain. I vow not to commit these negative actions from which I find it difficult to abstain from. And then focus on however long you can realistically refrain from these. Do that to the end of the practice, throughout the day, till you practice Vajrasattva again. And from the crown of your head, Guru Vajrasattva says, Son or daughter of the lineage, the negative karmas, obscurations and broken degenerated samayas have been completely purified, generating a strong sense of faith that everything that you have focused on throughout this practice has been completely purified, just as Guru Vajrasattva said. And then Guru Vajrasattva is very extremely pleased with your promise, father and mother, your solitary father, 
melt into light and absorb into you. And your body, speech and mind become inseparably one with Guru Fajrasattva's holy body, holy speech and holy mind. Merging inseparably in your heart centre. Reflecting that in emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And no negative karma created. Closing your mind just momentarily, whatever appreciation you have of emptiness. Experiencing both yourself and all phenomena as empty. Lacking inherent existence, not existing from their own side. from this place of emptiness we can offer the sog top of page 223 hum in the space before me from the enjoyment of indivisible great bliss and emptiness appear the complete supporting and supported mandalas of vajrasattva clouds of samantabhadra offerings fill all of space in the sphere of great non-dualistic bliss all beings miraculously appear as gods and goddesses embodying thoroughly developed method and wisdom as skillful dancers manifesting peace, expansion, power and draft. Om Kandaroi Om Om Te Om Swabhava Shuddha Sawadama Swabhava Shuddha Om Tumpa All becomes empty and from the sphere of emptiness appears the letter R which transforms into a very large and spacious skull cup containing the five meats and five nectars. Melting, they all transform into a great ocean of wisdom nectar. Oma Oma Hori Oma Oma Hori Oma Oma Hori This pure offering is the yogis' commitment Samaya and as the pure vision of their great bliss transcends being an object of ordinary senses. It is the basis of all attainments and the most supreme nectar. Therefore, O Guru, with your non-superstitious, simultaneously born great bliss, please enjoy it. Hom. O miraculous rainbow cloud, appearing in Dhammakaya space, Holy body of Vajrasattva, having purified hallucination and dual concepts that fails to see that the Guru, in essence, is the deity, the Dakini and the Dharma Pratea. To please you, Guru Vajrasattva, Accept these sacred ingredients, pure offerings to please your five senses. Please bless me to generate simultaneous born great bliss. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Accept these sacred ingredients, 
pure offerings to please your five senses. Please bless me to abandon clinging to the ordinary concepts and false appearances of this life. superstition, karma and delusion. To please you, Guru Vajra Sattva, accept these sacred ingredients, pure offerings to please your five senses. Please bless me with pure renunciation. Om Vajra Yuga. That is the chief of all evils. To please you, Guru Vajra Sattva, accept the sacred ingredients, pure offerings to please your five senses. Please bless me to generate immaculate body chitta. as true to please you Guru Vajra Sattva accept these sacred ingredients pure offerings to please your five senses please bless me to realize Mahamudra Vajra Purified of hallucination, 
of ordinary views and concepts, the eighty superstitious minds, the violent and controllable wind of the dualistic mind, to please you, Bless me with the four actual empowerments. Om Resulting from the uncontrollable downpour of black actions and broken samaya to please you.
Sapa sapa e wari agam padiam bupe dupe aloke gende nude shapa patisam toha Om Guru Vajra Sapa Sapa e wari om ahum Merely thinking of just your name eradicates all obstacles and immediately purifies all negative karma. Thus to you, unsurpassed Vajra Sapa, I make prostration. Whom I prostrate to the Bhagavan, Lord of the Brave Ones. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you, whose brilliance equals the fire that ends a great eon. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you, who have an inexhaustible crowning top knot. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you, with bared fangs and a wrathful face. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you, whose thousand arms blaze with light. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you, hold an axe, an uplifted noose, a spear and a skull staff. Whom, whom, pay. Om to you who wears a tiger skin cloth, hum, hum, pay. Om I bow to you whose great smoke coloured body ends all obstructions, hum, hum, pay. Om my prostrate to the Bhagavati Vajavarahi, hum, hum, pay. Om to the queen of the female Arya practitioners invincible in the three realms, hum, hum, pay. Om to you who destroys all fears of evil spirits with your great diamond like means, hum, hum, pay. Om to you whose eyes empower those who sit upon the diamond throne not to be conquered by anyone. Hum, hum, pay. Om to you whose wrathful body. Hum, hum, pay. Om to you who triumph over all that can make one ill tempered, excited, or stupefied. Hum, hum, pay. Om I bow down to Vajavarahi, the consort of overpowers lust. Hum, hum, pay. Whom we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, old Akas and Dakinis. Eruka delights in supreme bliss, with the lady also full of bliss. They enter in simultaneous bliss, and enjoy according to the right. A la 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 ho, ahi ahara li ho. May hosts of pure dakinis care for us and grand cities. O whom we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, old akas and dakinis. With your minds totally stirred by bliss and your bodies in a constant dance, make offerings to all the yoginis, great bliss of the lotus mudra sport. A la 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 ho, ahi ahara li ho. May hosts of pure dakinis care for us and grand cities. O whom we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, all darkers and darkinis, dancing with a pleasant soothing move, delighted protector darkinis. Come before us, please grant your blessings, give us simultaneous flea born great bliss. A la 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 ho, ahi ahara li ho. May hosts of pure dakinis care for us and grand cities. O whom we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, all dakas and dakinis. You endowed with liberated bliss, do not say freedom comes in one life. Through austerities that lack great bliss, but through abiding in lotus bliss. A la 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 ho, ahi ahara li ho. May hosts of pure dakinis, 
vast and grand cities, Om, we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, old Akas and Dakinis, just as a lotus born out of mud, great bliss comes untainted by desire. Supreme yoginis with lotus bliss, quickly free us from samsara's bonds. Ah la 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 ho, ah hi ah ha ho. May hosts of pure dakinis care for us and grant cities. Oh, um, we make our request to you, Tathagat has gone beyond. Great heroes and yoginis, all dakas and dakinis. Like honey's essence is drunk by bees, swarming on all sides around its source. Satisfy us with the taste of bliss, with your mature lotus of six signs. A la 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 ho, ahi ahara li ho. May hosts of pure dakini care for us and Remaining sock on two, three, eight. Mama ho, mama ho, mama ho. To the assembly of the eight classes of wrathful governing protectors, I present all the remaining pure offerings, the nectar of the five wisdoms contained in this skull cup, an illusory appearance of indivisible bliss and emptiness. To your duty, the four rights for Dharma protectors. May all be auspicious for me to see my mind as the Lama, who understands perfectly all beings' thoughts, whose speech fulfills countless beings' wishes, and whose pure body arises from an infinite collection of merit. May all be auspicious by realizing the unity of Dharmakaya and Rupakaya, by discovering my own subtle, continually residing consciousness, through the power of taking the three bodies as the power, the antidote to imminent death, bardo, and rebirth. May all be auspicious for everything within samsara and nirvana to be synthesized with great emptiness and great bliss through the unusual embrace of the mother, the sphere of space beyond all puzzling divisions, and the father, the great blissful wisdom, the appearance of all existence. So we can dedicate whatever merits we've generated through our practice. Um, to the supremely long, steady and healthy lives of our holy gurus. May all of their holy dharma wishes be completely fulfilled, in particular those of uh, Lamas of Parimpache. May all of his activities and his um, uh, direction for all of the centres, study groups, projects within the organisation be completely fulfilled. May the life of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, be long, steady and healthy. And may all gurus, all great beings, abide within us, within this world system for as long as is humanly possible and if not longer. May all those beings who we gathered around us at the beginning of the practice be blessed by this practice so that they too might meet with the Dharma, with the teachings, and that we all might move along the path to full enlightenment, to be able to benefit all sentient beings. Chancho sem cho grim po che ma ke pa nam ke gyu chi ke pa nyam pa me pa yi gong ne gong du pel wa sho However many sick sentient beings there are, may they quickly be freed from all sicknesses. May all the sicknesses, without exception of transmigratory beings, never occur again. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus, may I enjoy the magnificent Dharma. By completing the qualities of the grounds and paths, may I quickly attain the state of Rajadhara. By the force of the victorious one Sankapa, acting as our direct Mahayana virtuous friend in all our lives, May we never turn away for even a second from the pure path highly admired by the victorious ones. Like the earth, water, fire and wind, medicines and monastery firewood, may I always be enjoyed by all sentient beings as they like and without resistance. May I cherish all sentient beings like my own life. May I cherish them much more than myself. 
May all their negative karma ripen on me, and may all my virtue ripen on them. As long as any sentient being has not been liberated from samsara, may I abide in samsara to help them, even though I could achieve highest enlightenment. Due to all the past, present and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas and the numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, who am completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state which is completely empty of existing from its own side, by myself alone, who am completely empty of existing from my own side. I fully dedicate all these virtues to be able to train just like the hero Manjushri who knows reality and just like Samantha Bahadra as well. I fully dedicate all my roots of virtue with the dedication praised as the best by the all gone victorious ones of the three times in order to have good conduct. The wish, the wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Chen Xing Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain, so may I too to dispel the darkness and ignorance in this world.